The starting point for many plumbing designs is the placement of plumbing fixtures in the architectural model, so that's where we'll begin. Let's open the Level 1 floor plan in the architectural model. Then zoom into the restroom area planned at the back and center of the building. We can see the architect designed a complete layout with stalls and a wet wall. A wet wall is a double wall through which our sanitary piping can run vertically. We'll open the Place Component tool, then choose this ADA compliant wall sink from the type chooser. We'll return to the floor plan and place one of the fixtures at the south end of what will be the men's bathroom. It has a one foot clearance from this wall divider, a dimension we'll use in placing precisely the second sink. First, let's simply place the second sink in the general area. Then by right-clicking this blue box, we can choose Move the Witness Line and bring it to the edge of the sink. We'll do similarly with this other witness line, but bringing it to the center line of the stall wall. Now that the temporary dimensions are properly placed, enter one foot so that the sink repositions to meet this constraint. Let's also place some of the other needed restroom sanitary fixtures, starting with this public low-flow water closet. Zoom into the stall region of the women's restroom and place one on the wall. Use the spacebar to flip the orientation, and we can place another in the second stall. The final fixture we'll need to finish our restroom fixture modeling would be the men's urinal. Let's choose this standard urinal with wing and place it in this non-enclosed stall next to the sink. We're placing fixtures that already have the connectors and MEP attributes that will be necessary when we plumb the system. Let's confirm this by selecting a sink fixture and entering the family editor. Here we see the object contains a cold water inlet connector and a sanitary outlet connector. By selecting a connector we can see in the properties palette some of its attributes such as flow and radius. These will all come into play when we use these fixtures in Revit MEP. Now that we've created some fixtures on level 1, we're ready to copy these elements up to similar locations on levels 2, 3, and 4. Since the layouts of the restrooms are identical from floor to floor, we can easily paste aligned. Let's open our level 1 floor plan and we'll use the control key to do a multiple selection of these two sink objects. We'll choose the Copy to the Clipboard tool in the Modify tab, then paste a line to selected levels and select levels 2, 3, and 4. To confirm my objects are pasted, I can open all the levels and use WT to window tile the four floor plan views and see that my sinks were pasted in the upper levels.